What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing another clothing haul but this time it's gonna be a little bit more exciting and a little bit more in season if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna be doing a Halloween slash fall themed haul and it's gonna be from Shein of course. That seems to be the place that most people like seeing from me so I'm gonna do that but I also before I show you the clothes I want to show you a few accessories I got and then I'll try them on with the clothes if that makes sense. So the first thing I got is this ring, little spider. So nothing too crazy, but I feel like it's kind of fun and like, I don't know if it's subtle, but a more subtle way to kind of bring in the Halloween spirit that you can wear to the office or wherever. So that's the first thing. And then the next few items I got are earrings. So I'll show you those real quick. Okay, so this first pair of earrings I think is adorable. And you could probably wear it for like Dia de los Muertos. I think that's how you say it. You know, like Day of the Dead, apart from just Halloween, but I feel like for this season, they're so cute, the little orange flower and the little skulls. So those are the first pair. And the second pair I think are my favorite. They are these little skeleton earrings with like diamond eyes and they're gold. So cute. And I feel like you could almost wear this apart from Halloween as well. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just reaching here, but I think a lot of these can be worn other times. Maybe not this next pair, which are these giant candy corns, which I think are just hilarious. And you can wear that like with orange or whatever, but these ones are kind of cool because they're made with like leather. They're kind of flexible, so that's weird. And then the last accessory item I got is a necklace, and this one's kind of cool because it's like little skeleton hands. So once I put it on, you'll see it with an outfit, then you'll see what this looks like, but come on, that is so cute, especially with this little ring. Just be a little extra for Halloween. I know a lot of us like being extra. So, with that being said, now I'm going to show you the clothing items and then as usual, try them on. So let's just jump into that. The first thing I got is this sweater, and something I noticed, which you'll see, is that for some reason the extra larges actually seem to be extra larges this time, or even seem larger, because I usually size up to an extra large because she and runs small, but this time I kind of wish I would have ordered a smaller size, but you'll see what I mean. So this first one I got in an extra large, and it's this sweater, so cute with these little dancing skeletons. I mean, maybe I can belt this and wear it with leggings. I don't know. I'll try it on that way so you can see what it looks like, but I was really excited for this one, so hopefully it doesn't look too silly with the sizing. I know oversized is in, but sometimes it can just be kind of awkward, so I'm gonna jump into this one and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's this sweatshirt. I did try it with a belt, but I don't know. This is looking kind of silly, so I'll show you without as well. But you know what I mean, like this one's obviously oversized, I feel like normally when I order an extra large from Shein, it fits pretty true to size. But you'll have to let me know. I think this is like still okay to wear, especially just for fall and Halloween. So I'm not too worried about it. I'll probably still wear it, but let me know what you think. Okay, and then the next shirt I got is this orange shirt. It says, let's get spooky on it. This one's so cute. This one seems a little more wide. I don't know if that's just the styling of it or whatever. But it's super cute, also has kind of that same dancing skeleton that's kind of seems to be across the board here. But this orange color I feel like is so cute. You could wear this with like a denim jacket over it or a flannel, tucked in some jeans. I think it'd be really cute. So I'm gonna try this one on next and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's this shirt. Like I said, it's kind of boxy, but I feel like you could like do a little tie, have it like tucked like this, and that'd kind of make it cute. Or if you just had like a front tuck going on, these leggings are pretty high-waisted, but you could still like a little tuck something like that I still think it's cute I think I'd probably do like just a little low tie or something like that just to kind of I don't know streamline it a little bit but otherwise I love the design I think it's the perfect orange for the season and I paired it with these little skeleton earrings that I showed you earlier I think they're adorable I'm not sure if the oranges match perfectly but I don't care I would still probably pair this together anyway because I think it's adorable so you have to let me know down below what you think but I think with a little styling, this one could definitely be cute. Okay, and this next sweater, guys, or sweatshirt, I would say, is so freaking cute to me. The color is kind of bizarre, but look how adorable this is. 
excuse me, but boo. <laughs> I don't know why I love that so much, but it's so cute. And I love this sweatshirt material. It's like kind of plushy in a way, but not too thick. It's hard to explain, but this one I feel like doesn't seem as oversized as that first one. So we'll see. I think I'll end up liking the sizing of this one better. And of course, I just love what it says. I think it's so cute. So I'm just going to get into this one and see if I like it as much as I think I will. Okay, and then here's this sweatshirt. I don't know if it's the most flattering shape on me, but I don't really care because I love this one so much. I just think this is so cute. The little saying, like, come on, it's adorable. And comfort level wise, I totally think I'll be just throwing this on for the next couple months and just, you know, using it for like a cozy sweatshirt, something like that. So I don't think it's a total fail or anything. I think it's cute. The material's nice. It's thick and I do feel warmer when I'm wearing it. So it's doing its job. And also I've paired it with these little skeleton earrings. I don't know if I would normally because this is kind of casual, but I wanted you to see, we'll see what they look like while I'm wearing them. So that's what those look like. Okay, and then this next item, I think I'm also going to probably pair with leggings and maybe try to belt it. I don't know. We'll see. But it's a long sleeve kind of, I don't even know what you would call this. It's not quite tie-dye, but kind of. And it has this like skeleton sitting on a moon. I think it's really cute. It's kind of a different material, like almost silkier than just regular cotton. I just feel like this one is so cute. You can wear this one year round for sure. I might even wear it for pajamas. I don't know. But overall, love this one. I'm super excited to try it on. So I'm just gonna not wait any longer. Okay, so here's this other long sleeve shirt. Again, I wish this one was fitted a little bit more so like there's a ton of material I could cinch in. Maybe I will do that though. I can just kind of do like a little low knot thing and kind of tuck it under something like that to make it a little bit more streamlined but overall I don't mind it being super oversized it's definitely more comfortable this way I love this pattern like I said earlier I feel like you can wear this year round so I love that and I love that the sleeves are super long which is probably another benefit to it being a little bit oversized so this one is definitely a thumbs up to me and also I did go ahead and throw on that little skeleton hand necklace thing so you can see what that looks like as well so I think it's super cute. You could wear this with like a lower cut, like black shirt too, and just kind of add a little razzle dazzle that way. So overall, I'm still giving this a thumbs up. Let me know what you think, but I think it's a win. Okay, and then the last thing, or things I should say that I got, I couldn't resist. I feel like tis the season. I should have some seasonal pajamas. So this is what they look like. It's a little top. I think it's technically crop. Has little ghosts and pumpkins on it super soft and like super almost like a cooling material which i really like for sleeping because i tend to overheat and then with that top it comes these little shorts with this little white bow so cute i'm excited to have these and honestly for pajamas i don't care what season they are i'll wear them anytime so i'm gonna jump into these and fingers crossed they look as cute as i think they will Okay, obviously this is a, the win of the whole thing, I think. It's super lightweight, super comfortable. I love this material. Like I said before, it feels almost cooling, which is nice. The shorts are high-waisted. They're above my belly button, but they're still like a decent length, as you can see. I feel like this is just so cute. You could tuck it if you really wanted to. I don't really find that necessary, especially if you're going to sleep. But overall, I think these are freaking adorable and I definitely will be wearing them probably past the season so fall winter summer you'll probably catch me in these well you probably won't catch me in these because I'll be sleeping or wearing them at home but if you know me you might catch me in these so here's one final look at them far away and also I paired them with little candy corn earrings because how freaking cute are these especially with this because it's almost like cartoony and these are kind of cartoony so it worked out well Okay, as you can see, I just decided to stay in this for my final thoughts because it's super comfortable and honestly, it's my favorite thing that I tried on, so I don't really want to take it off. Anyway, as you can see, there was a lot of cute like fall slash Halloween things. I'm not sure if I'm going to be dressing up this year, so this might be the extent of my dressing up instead of actually wearing a costume, but we'll see. I might do something fun for a video, but I don't have any plans on going anywhere right now. So overall, I think the stuff was worth it. Sizing was a bit off, so maybe keep that in mind. I'm not sure if there's a way to really tell though before purchasing it, because Shein usually seems to be, size, like runs a little small, which in this case it did not. So 
I don't know if there's really a way to look into that, but if there is, that's what I would recommend. Other than that though, I liked pretty much everything I tried on, especially this, like I've said numerous times, and the accessories are so fun, so I would check them out if I were you. Other than that, please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, and as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.